we will be exam uh, we are in a new domain now we know that in circuit analysis we will be seeing two different domains one of them is frequency domain the other is s domain so that is the first one so let's see this domain in details so we want to compare the domain that we have seen before which is time domain and that frequency domain in time domain um, Resistive circuit elements included circuits. Mathematical model is linear algebraic equations. But if you add energy storage elements to those, then the equations that you're going to write is going to be differential equations. These equations are called state equations. So you cannot write it randomly. So there, there must be a method to write these state equations. And these equations are differential equations and needs to be solved. Solutions that we have seen in time domain, in mathematics we have seen homogeneous and particular solutions. We add two more solutions to this, natural and force solutions. These are physical solutions mathematicians may not use these solutions but particular summation of particular homogeneous solutions gives you the general solution also natural solution plus the force solution gives you general solution so this solution can be found in time domain we said and we can determine whether the circuit is stable or not in time domain and there is no restriction or independent sources. There could be different type of independent sources that we could use in time domain. So this new domain, when we come in, we have some advantages, also some disadvantages. Uh, so we can compare that, those two domains. So frequency domain, classical, not voltage mesh current analysis. We are not going to use these state equations, we are not going to solve differential equations, we are going to use the methods that we have used for resistive circuits, which are classical node voltage and mesh current analysis methods, and the mathematical model that we are going to face with in this domain is going to be algebraic linear equations. The difference between the resistive circuit is that these algebraic equations are going to be complex coefficient included matrices. Uh, so in this domain, we cannot find all the solution that we have found in time domain. We will be finding only the particular solution. We already explained that if the circuit is stable, our general uh, solution becomes particular solutions after a few seconds, after the transient part of our solution, which is the homogeneous solution, disappears, our particular solution becomes our general solution. That's why the particular solution would be enough for us to use in practice. We cannot examine the stability of the circuit in this domain. That is another disadvantage. And there is a restriction about the independent sources in frequency domain. This is sinusoidal sources only. DC sources, no need to use this domain. So after that comparison, let's apply it to a simple circuit. So we have a simple circuit here. Uh, a serial connector is... Uh, LR circuit, the first order circuit. So this is the source, that's the sinusoidal source, and this is the differential equations, first order differential equations. The solution of these differential equation of this uh, differential equation is this. So it has got a homogeneous part and it has a particular part. 
So if you see this particular part, you can see that sinusoidal function it is. It is in the form of the source then. What is the difference? The frequency do not change. Only the two parameters will change. One of them is the amplitude of the sinusoidal function. The other one is the angle of the sinusoidal function. This amplitude depends on frequency of the source and angle is also depends of the independent source frequency. You will see now. So this is in time domain that we have done already. In this domain, what we are going to write, we are going to use the phases instead of element voltages and currents in time domain. So we are in here we wrote the q sharp current uh, voltage law equations for this loop. There is just one loop. And use the definition relation of these elements. Since those two elements are connected in serial, the currents are the same. Current of R is the same as the current of L. So it is the same as the loop current. And we wrote here uh, for Vs the phasor of R independent source, the phasor of our independent source Vm e to the power j phi. So when we solve that, we end up with this current. So in this current, if we write this, this, this is a complex number. Uh, denominator is in the Cartesian form and denominator is in the polar form. So if we transfer it to polar form, it becomes this. So this now is the phasor of this of our current. So from this phasor, we can write the time domain function. How we are going to write cos omega omega t part omega t plus v part is going to be as the same as the source here. What is going to change is the amplitude of f. Amplitude depends on the independent source amplitude also depends on the frequency also of this independent source if you come to that angle which is this theta as well theta is equal to this one once you the angle which is going to be added to the independent source angle is omega l over r omega so that means this angle also depends on the fre uh, frequency of the independent source. So if you look at this current here, this is a sinusoidal function. All the three parameters of this sinusoidal function depends on independent source frequency. That is why we call this domain as frequency domain. Every quantity or coefficient or parameter in the functions that we are going to deal with depends on the independent source frequency. That's why it is called frequency domain. So when you uh, after that comparison, we can say that homogeneous part is not included in this domain. So this area is the omega domain. This area is the time domain. So in here, we only found the particular solution, not the homogeneous solution. And our source is sinusoidal function. The resulting uh, function is this. So the advantage is we haven't solved the in, uh, differential equation, but uh, linear algebraic equation, which includes complex numbers in it. So like that. So that's the end of this video. So closing.